others. That's what uh, most club owners say at the end of the night. That's what most of our wives after, say. After they've been fucking the Wicker Brothers all night. Because we'll do anything to succeed. How long, how long have you been fucking the Wicker Brothers? Well, I don't know. A couple of months? Was it any good? Nah, it's alright. Too long. Too long. It was too long. <laughs> I prefer, I prefer a briefer sex. Myself. I mean, half an hour is enough, isn't it, really? Three months. For the whole band like this. It was fucking exhausting. Jesus Christ. We'd like to do a song, uh, in honor, in honor of the great Ian McLagan. Yeah! I once walked down, I once walked down this road, this great street, South Congress, and I was walking a few feet ahead of Ian McLagan. We've been having a drink up the uh, Gueros, as it's known. And Robert Plant, who was living here at the time, was standing outside of the Continental Club. And I walked right past him, I missed it, and I walked in here. But Randy Franklin from Yard Dog said, as Ian McLagan walked past Robert Plant, he just looked at him and said, Hello, Bobby. <laughs> that was quite nice. I once texted, texted Ian McLagan, hoping that we could have a drink together. And I said, how are you doing, Ian? And he said, I'm up and door, up, no, hang on. Up and down like a horse draws. <laughs> the next time I came to Austin, I said, how are you doing, Ian? He said, I'm shitting in tall grass. <laughs> Which is an improvement. Here's Dino, this is all or nothing by the small faces. <laughs> 